Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Nextcloud Server on a subdomain instead of your domain name. So the first thing we're going to do is log into the Plus Control Panel. And here is our main domain name, which I've installed WordPress on this domain. And instead, you know, if you don't want your Nextcloud Server to be installed on the, the domain name or a subfolder, then you're gonna wanna add a subdomain. So to do this, all you do is click add subdomain and type in your subdomain name. So I want people to access my Nextcloud server instance when they go to cloud.rupalnextcloud.com or you can do app or name it whatever you want, right? It's your choice, but I'm gonna choose cloud.rupalnextcloud.com and click okay. So, if you're using the name servers provided to you by RootPal, then all you have to do is is add it right here and it should create the correct DNS settings so that this works, right? But if you're using Cloudflare, you will need to log into Cloudflare and create what's called an A record with pointing to the IP address of cloud.rootpal.nextcloud.com. However, I do not recommend using Cloudflare with, um, I do not recommend using Cloudflare with Nextcloud. So what you have to do if you're using Cloudflare um, for your, cause you want your Cloudflare website to work with rootpalnextcloud.com because it's WordPress, right? And you want that protection for your WordPress website, but you don't want to use the, you can't use Cloudflare for um, your next cloud server instance. And let, let me tell you why. Cloudflare has a timeout of 100 seconds. So that means any action that takes more than 100 seconds on your next cloud server instance is going to timeout. Because uh, Cloudflare, you know, it's running um, the PHP and everything through your browser to their DNS servers and then to our servers. So they have what's called a max execution timeout of 100 seconds. And if you go to PHP settings, <clears throat> if you go to PHP settings, you'll see the timeout is 3,600 seconds, which is a long time. And uh, that's, what you, that's what the Nextcloud server, um, that's what Nextcloud recommends. They recommend these settings. We set these settings up on our server end, on the server end PHP so that you don't have any issues uploading files or you know, browsing Nextcloud and having all that stuff. But once you add it to Cloudflare, you're gonna have issues. Um, so if you do add this to Cloudflare, which you will have to do if you're using Cloudflare as your DNS, and you just need to make sure that the proxy is off. The orange icon that turns on the proxy is off and you're gonna have to install an SSL. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to install an SSL right here on your main domain and um, you'll need to use install Let's Encrypt. So um, I already have it installed and I'm not using Cloudflare for this, this, this domain name. Altogether, I don't recommend using Cloudflare with uh, your domain name or the subdomain. It makes it very complicated um, because then you'll have to add the SSL um, keys to Cloudflare, which I have another video on. Um, so I'll add that video in the link's description below because you'll have to add the TXT key um, to Cloudflare so that Let's Encrypt does work, your SSL does work. Uh, and you know, if, if you're gonna use um, Cloudflare with your next cloud server, you want it set up that way i will make another video on how to do that and i actually don't recommend using let's encrypt i i, I recommend buying a ssl cert which um don't go here but this is how it looks this is how the page looks so if you want to install a free ssl you have to go down here where they hide it now uh, and click install to install free ssl but if you're going to use cloudflare with next cloud server i recommend buying one because you're going to have to change that key that goes into the Cloudflare TXT. So I recommend buying a, an SSL so you don't have to change that key uh, often when you use Let's Encrypt. So just just 
just don't use the Cloudflare. Um, the server's really fast anyways, uh, where we host our next cloud servers. The data center's really good. I don't think you need Cloudflare. And um, I recommend just choosing uh, a server that NextCloud is next to you by. We're launching some other data centers for NextCloud um, in Europe and some other places as well. So now that that's all done, um, let's go ahead and install our NextCloud server instance on our subdomain. So we added our subdomain using this, and now we're gonna click NextCloud and install and select the domain name, which is the subdomain that we're gonna install NextCloud on. We're gonna generate a password, I'm gonna auto-generate it, and then I'm gonna remove this because I do not want it to go into a subdefolder. I wanna be able to go to cloud.rootpalnextcloud.com and that's where my NextCloud server instance will be accessed. So I will remove that and click install. And now this should take, you know, about a minute. It's pretty fast to install the NextCloud server instance because the server is fast. So let's just wait till it, it installs and then we'll check it out. And there we go. So close that. You get this little management, which allows you to do the actions, the refresh the instance, re-index the files, empty the trash, repair the installation if it breaks. And you can auto log in right here. Click this for applications, which you can turn on specific apps that are automatically off, like LDAP um, that integrates with uh, your LDAP, you know, office or whatever. Um, some auditing and logging. If you want better security, logging and auditing turn that on here this does take up a lot of web space because um, it records everything so let's go back to overview and let's check out our instance let's go to the page so SSL is not installed but let's control F5 I think it is installed it's just hold on so let's see okay so it's not secure, our sub subdomain is not secured right here. So all we need to do is reissue the certificate, install Let's Encrypt, and this should do all subdomains. So let's just reissue it because it says it's not secure down here. So ignore all these, you don't need it. Oh, here, you need this wildcard um, checked. So have wildcard on. Oh no, this is just for selecting. See, so if you use Let's Encrypt, um, it or if you don't use Let's Encrypt, you're gonna pay around ninety nine dollars for an SSL. But if you use Let's Encrypt, it comes with a wildcard, and I think you just have to reissue it after creating your subdomain. Click reload and it is installed right here. So let's see if now it works and if it doesn't, there we go. So there it does work after reissuing. Um, and now you can see I go to cloud.rootpal.nextcloud.com and it's secure, connection is secure and we can log in. There you go. That's how you install your Nextcloud server instance on a subdomain. Thank you.